chain it together with your other techniques. Okay, um, I think that's all I gotta say about that. Let's show it a little bit quicker, okay? Go. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. No, What's up, Johnny? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Now, you should get a little sweat in tonight. Three, three ten minute rounds. Three ten minute rounds. What's up? How many did you get? I don't know. It was a lot. I'm drenched. Okay. All right. Beautiful. All right, John. I'm yes, gonna sir. pass this off to you. How's it going, everybody? Teach me grappling. I'm back, and we're gonna be doing another calf lock. This one is not anything new, guys. A lot of you guys probably already know this, but there's also plenty of people out there that have never done it. So it's gonna look really cool to you. And then those that have seen it before, you're probably like, eh, whatever, let's move on. So I've been doing a few calf lock videos in the past week um, after Megan Parducho caught, caught that like crazy little calf lock that she didn't finish. Um, we're going over all these calf locks. I, I showed you guys how to reap the knee going into a calf lock. I showed you my favorite off the butterfly sweep. Again, all these moves are, are fairly well known. It's nothing, nothing's a, a new move at all. But I wanna show you this move. I, and this was done back in the 90s. It's funny, I just saw this move um, posted on the internet on Facebook. Um, I believe it was Half Gracie, uh, his, his tutorials. He's got his uh, online uh, tutorial. And uh, that was the, one of the free ones that they showed on Facebook. And I just, I happened to scroll down and I read some comments. This was a few weeks ago. And um, I noticed like there was a lot of people like, oh, this is crazy, like brand new. And I was like, man, what are you talking about? We were doing this back in the 90s. So um, anyway, counter to a De La Hiva guard, okay? The guy he's on his back, okay? I'm gonna be in De La Hiva. He's gonna grab my heel and then he has a De La Hiva look here. Okay, so John, you're gonna come over here too. Okay, see the foot here. This is the basic deli heave hook. Okay, and then sometimes what he does, he goes for the deep hook. Okay, the deep hook, he's gonna lift his butt, like lift your butt in the air. He's gonna shoot his leg all the way to the far side like this. Then this is the old school uh, deli heave attack. He goes right foot behind the knee, over here. Nope, here. And then we're gonna get to this position. He's gonna pull my hip and take my back. Okay, nice job for not pulling my hip. Just messing with you, Mike. Okay, we haven't been practicing Del Hiva Guard in quite a while. It's not really a part of Mike's game, but maybe after this video it will be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look, oh, that's pretty good. Now he's getting into his Del Hiva. Nice, look at that, I can't take my leg out. See, see how he's pulling, I can't pass his guard. He can keep the distance, looking good. Okay, so what I wanna do now is, I want this hook to go deep so I can attack it. If it goes deep here, you have a back step knee bar, Whoosh, right there. Mike right now is foaming at the mouth. He's getting excited. But the knee bar sometimes fails because the guy can retract his knee. So when you try, especially with a shallow hook, if you try to grab this foot and step back, he retracts his knee and now you went for a move that maybe might lead to you getting your back taken. So when you're here, instead of the knee bar, and, and because he's in a shallow position with a bent knee, Okay, get in nice and tight, John, and just see the angles that you, you need to see to learn. I'm gonna pulse my hand on his knee right here. My other hand is right here at the shin bone, lower shin, because I wanna free up this leg off of my thigh. I'm pulsing on his knee, looking like I'm looking to attack. I'm gonna step back a little bit, and then squat down, and my hamstring is going to trap his leg, okay, in this position. Once I'm here, I've made his foot go deep, whether he wanted to shove his leg in deep or not. So if you guys notice, look, his leg is here, like this, okay? I made it, I kind of trap it with my hip and my quadriceps right here, and I keep this nice and tight in the ball. I cannot stay in this position very long. I'm gonna move right away, but I'm showing you in steps. This hand is uh, controlling this leg, and then this hand that was pushing on the knee is now gonna dive my hand deep. Okay, as I dive my hand deep, it's very important that you are here first before you dive your hand deep, okay? So what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna have a big space here 
and dive my hand deep, and then he abandons his Delahiva hook and takes an Oma Plata. See that? So you don't want to get sucked into that. So it's very important that when you step back to this position, that his foot is stuck now. So he, he cannot take his left leg out when I dive my hand in deep. Now, go ahead and try to take your foot out. See how I'm gonna take your left leg out. Yeah, so you can't go to the Yama Plata. Now you might, you might think, oh, but he can Kimura me, you know? So he could try to Kimura my arm. So you're not gonna sit here and wait for him to do that. Okay, now the other really important thing is you need to take this knee and then force it outward. Okay, so that your shin bone, you can see how the calf lock is starting to form. Okay, or the calf slicer, calf crank. It's starting to form inside here. So again, look at it. He's got my heel. He has a deli hook. Okay, I'm here. I'm freeing this one off of my thigh. Okay, my hand is here in this position. I'm like driving my shin pressure a little bit. I'm gonna back step and break this off. At the same time, I make him go deep. And my right hand now is diving in. At the same time my right hand dives in, I rotate my knee to the outside, shin goes out. As my shin goes out, I'm ducking my head between his legs, hitting a forward roll. And then once in this position, my right hand that was through, remember that whole Kimura Omoplata hand? Go ahead and lock your hands nice and tight. And then now you can triangle your legs if you choose. You can also try to apply pressure like I've shown on other calf lock videos. Inner thigh pushing against your foot. Okay, or you can triangle. And then if he rotates all the way to his knees, let's say keep fighting to get up, and he ends up here, I will attack for the waist. Now I'm gonna go towards the waist. It's important that you stop him from straightening his leg. Okay, go ahead and straighten. Yeah, it's important you stop him from doing this. Okay, in this particular calf lock, his foot is not on this side. Okay, it's over here, which means in this position, if he strains his leg, it's pretty stiff on my left hip. Okay, it's harder for me. Go ahead and straighten. Yeah, it's gonna like push me like this. So once I'm here, if you guys have the lock on the leg, you can squeeze and finish this. But if he starts to straighten, yeah, like this. You see, I'm trying to block it. Notice how my arm is blocking against my knee. So it's preventing my knee from going this way. Once I get nice and tight, I like to get to here and lean to the right. That way when he straightens, I've got both legs and he can't kick. Now he can't take his right leg and kick off of my knee. And as I lean, I'm pulling everything in. And I'm sorry, Mikey, it hurts. Okay, so here it is again, guys. Pretty easy, right? Sort of, okay? See, I can't get out of the deli heba guard. I can't smash his deli heba guard. I'm having trouble like trying to smash him. You see how he's getting his angle? So when he gets his angle, I'm just gonna back step a little bit. Boom, drop into position. Duck my head between the legs. Notice the knee goes out. Elbow on the inside, not on the outside like this. If you do this, when you roll, you're gonna have a problem. Your leg, right here, your knee, come over here and get this angle. This is one of, most students make this mistake. Notice my knee didn't go out. Now I don't have the lower shin on the back of the knee because I need my elbow in front of my knee right here. So what ends up happening if you do this, you end up stretching this way and then now, you can try to come up and create a different move, but you're not gonna end up with that calf lock, okay? So, there are other moves though, and I'm gonna not go into that because this video is gonna be plenty long. I can't get away, so I'm here, I back step. As I do this, I'm coming underneath. Notice my knee is out, my elbow's on the inside, hitting my roll, and I'm right there locking and finishing right here, okay? Again, if the guy rotates and tries to move, Keeps going, he keeps going. If I can get to the hips, I'll get to the hips. If I lose the leg, let's say he straightens his leg and I lose it, that's fine. I still got his waist and then you can see my leg is across. He's trying to get away. I'll pull myself up and I'll get right to his back. Right there, okay? A lot of times the calf lock fails and when it fails, you have to know how to go from there, okay? Don't just sit there and go, oh, I lost the move. I've got nothing. No, you just keep grappling. Okay, chain it together with your other techniques. Okay, um, I think that's all I gotta say about that. Let's show it a little bit quicker. Okay, go. Keep going, keep going. Okay. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. No. Keep going. Keep going. It's okay. It's good. It's natural. So don't stop. You're already countering me. Just keep it going. It's nice. Nice to you. Nice. Okay. Again, guys, it may it may not like always fit the same as you guys. Just real quick, just stand up here to show how it's different, okay? When you guys are here and you bring your leg like this, his leg is over here. So when I sit up, everything's a lot more bound. See how this leg goes here and then this one goes here. They hook together. When he tries to straighten his leg, it's really hard all the weights on it. When the leg is on this side, it's not wrong, it'll still work, but one of the issues is when he straightens his leg, it, it's much harder. So when you get in these situations, this one might come out a little bit more often than the other. But when it happens, I don't try to move his leg very often. I just go with the flow. You figure out what, what works for you and um, they both will work for sure. And you have different, uh, different ways you can climb up too. You know, so if it is on this side, you can still come up, take the guys back, at least get the sweep. Don't sit there like a dummy. Let him yank his leg out and then get back on top of you. So that's all I got. That's good. Okay, I just want to show you guys that technique. It's an awesome move. Um, you should know it. Everybody should be aware of it. You know, even if you don't do all these moves, guys, it's good to learn them. So every time you watch my videos, even if it's not your cup of tea, at least you know it. So if somebody throws it your way, it, it's not foreign to you because that's how you get caught. You know, when people say he got caught or I got caught. Yeah, because you didn't know what he was doing. Once you know what he's doing, moves don't become, they're no longer magic. They don't seem like coming out of nowhere, okay? You'll see it coming as it happens, and you're much better prepared, so. All right, thank you so much. Teach Me Grappling, Patreon link down below. Click it, subscribe, share this video, like it, and that's all I got. Tomorrow's a new day, and I'll be back for more. Later.